So where are we? We are at Memorial Sloan Cannon Cancer Center. There's so many, so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh, is he gonna examine me? Like, look at all that stuff. You have papillary thyroid cancer. It is stage one. You have um, T2. Uh, that means the size of the tumor is thought to be the size of the primary tumor in the thyroid is thought to be between two to four centimeters. The last measurement was, I think, uh, three centimeters. Um, some patients form bad scars, um, but I don't see that very often in this area. You know, I disguise the incisions in the skin creases. They are red and noticeable for a year, and then they usually turn into a white line. And this is supposed to be my only option. Mm -hmm. No, it's not your only option. You can you can do wh whatever you like, Nicole. It's completely your life. Under I want to be it's under your family. It's your family. It's your And do and work together for what I want. This scares me. This doesn't sound like I'm going to feel good after this. What I'm doing at home is making me feel good. Okay. Well, what about dying from cancer? How does how does that make you feel? What I'm about dying curious. from surgery or dying from? No, there's no. There is. Um, there is no risk of dying from the surgery. The surgery. Uh, I've only been a surgeon for about 17 years, um, but I have never had a patient die during surgery, and um, I have never been at a hospital where a patient died of an anesthesia problem during surgery. It is uh, so uncommon and rare that um, I do, would not even mention it. But, well, what does um, this mean for the rest of my life? Because I am 28 years it old. It means that you may have a rest of your life, but usually the rest Miserable. of your life is completely normal. Miserable rest of my life? It's usually completely normal. I want to see if they've gotten smaller or bigger. I want to check this. And I also want to, <clears throat> I don't know, see in, uh, do integrative medicine until I, it, it becomes like a, necess like a, necess a necessity to you, do this. You're surgery. going to miss your window to be cured. Okay? You're going to have a scan in a yeah. six months or in six years. No, I want to do a scan you're like gonna have a, this You're going to have a chest x-ray and it's going to show pulmonary metastases and you're going to have missed your window to be alive and see your daughter graduate from high school. One third of Americans die of cancer. There's how many of them? Two, four, Or six. do they die of chemo? Two of us in the room are going to die of cancer well, in our life. Nicole, I can see that um, you feel very strongly about this. Because I'm not I'm sure what to do for you, honestly. Everything that I try to do to I want to help you, you're, you're, you're contraindicating. You have because you're giving me one option. You're telling me that I have to have surgery and that I have to have... I cannot put the faith of my life in the hands of doctors. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Unless, There's nothing I can do about unless, that. Listen, I'm a good guy. I'm a nice I, guy. I, I don't wear a white coat. That's I great. wear a pink shirt. I'm just a regular guy. I try to be a regular guy. You know what I happens when to, somebody has I, cancer? I, I they, go, build... they go researching everything from around the world to see other options. That's what happens when a person has cancer. And that's what I've done. And I've seen success stories in other options. So it, it can't be that there's only surgery and there's only radioactive iodine. I'm not going to live around, be around my, I can't even be around my daughter after taking an iodine pill. Yes, you can. No, I'm not. I'm not yes. going to. I'm not going to give her the radiation that's inside of me. There's no way you can your tell me. Your body clears that radiation completely in three to five days. Completely. When she's 15 years old and her mom died from thyroid cancer and she's no, got 60 years to be alone, then I'm what are you doing do? things holistically with integrative medicine and I feel that that works. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, because this doesn't sound like I thought that I could, I could maybe um, consider the surgery, but. I, very, very sad. I will consider so it. I will consider it down. when I have another scan and there's no improvement. With if I have another scan and another MRI and it shows no improvement, then I will be willing to do the surgery. But if there is improvement, 
since my last scan, then I will not have surgery. Right, we'll so. get you an ultrasound. Yes. When would you like to come down? You're going to see the neurologist. When is that going to be? I have to call them as soon as they leave here to schedule an appointment. What did, what does the recovery look like for the? You know, each operation system? is um, you know about a week to sort of feel better. I mean, from here down, you're fine. So you're walking the first day after surgery, drinking, eating. You know, um, I have you in the hospital usually two or three days after each operation. The reason for that is we usually have a little drain underneath the skin to drain off any serum that we'll collect. When the drainage gets very low, we take the drains out and let you go home. And uh, that usually takes two or three nights. Um, but uh, you're really fine. You know, as soon as you get home, you can uh, take care of yourself. So how do you feel about, really loud. How do you feel about surgery? Fuck that shit. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can bleep. Oh, okay. Or put a rated R. Yeah, we can put like a bleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, you know, playing along for um, precautionary purposes. Okay.